They're all totally different yeah. from one another. Yeah, I mean, the, the three that I've worked on mm -hmm. now, four. Yeah, I mean, I had a little bit in the end of uh, Iron Man 3. But um, I think what Marvel does really great is they allow the directors, you know, once it's all up and running, to, to, to put their stamp on it, to have their vision, to... And and this is this is this is Thor under the umbrella of Taika Waititi. Mm -hmm. What would that movie be? And that's what this is. And it's joyful. It's funny. It's it's tongue in cheek. It's it's it, it, the characters are interesting and offbeat and, and and it's also when I when I um, knew I was going to be doing the interviews for this, I I did a quick you know IMDb search to see who's all in it and. It looked the cast was like almost an Avengers movie with the, 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 the big names that they drew draw, you know, Hopkins and Kate Blanchett yourself. And yeah. That that they're getting they're getting more that way, I noticed that. Lots of attraction from people like Oscar winners that you would not well, really that's, associate with. I mean, kinda of their genius is they like they, they want actors. They don't necessarily want movie stars. And that's been the that was their model from the beginning. And, and, you know, God bless Downey and John Favreau to have opened this, and, and Kevin Feige, to have opened this universe to people like me and Chris and Kate and Anthony. And it's, it's you know, it's the best of both worlds. We get to make these big studio movies while still doing character work, you know? Yeah. Marvel, Marvel also socially always had something going for it. Like this movie, the female characters are equally, if not stronger, than the male characters. And I know you're outspoken on, on some of the roles that. And know, the diversity. Diversity. And yes. at the end, it's the it's the mishmash mash of races that goes to save the Valhalla, the, the white, the great white Aryan race, you know. And they and they have to do it together to to win, you know. I, that's that doesn't I. That, that resonates with you, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, script. because that's more. Yes, yes, and that, and when, and talking to Taika, I was like that. You know, you should have the the, the these gladiator slaves save, save that, yeah. save save Asgard, yeah. be part of that. You know, because that wasn't in there when it. And, and he's like, yeah, I love that. And then you have a person of color, uh, you know, Taika making that movie and and have that point of view and that voice and this kind of platform and this kind of movie. These mytho this, this is our modern mythology. We're working something out in these movies. They, they push that mythological button in our minds that is like we share. That's why they're so, you know, if you try to do this in, a, in an independent movie, <laughs> you don't, it would never work. Yeah. But the fact that it's cloaked in a comic book movie and more audience, a big audience. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, it's fun. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I talked too okay. much. That's all right. Oh, no, my no, God. That was great. <laughs>